Hello, I am Torn Mog, and I'm a member of the equity team for the, 40, for the 44th General Council and a student pursuing ministry at the Atlantic School of Theology. I think the United Church quite virtuously has been pushing towards equity and has taken some good steps in that direction that ought to be celebrated. The types of inequity that I see as very unaddressed in our con even in our conversations, let alone actions in our church, or one of these, is inequity around neurodivergence, which is a word that describes the spectrum of atypical human mind. People with autism, ADHD, dyslexia, Tourette syndrome, obsessive compulsive disorder, and schizophrenia are all people who would be considered neurodivergent. You might notice that none of these groups really have much in common with each other. The way we run church services are catered towards neurotypical people. They were designed by and for these groups. They were designed by and for these groups. But for people who don't fit that mold, it a church service can actually be a quite difficult and stressful environment to be in. Someone like my friend, who has ADHD, might struggle to sit still for an hour uh, and simply listen without, being, without moving and fidgeting. However, I remember when I was a child uh, and I would fidget in church, I would be glared at. Uh, by, by certain people, this is of course not universal, but it, this, that's what I mean by it. it's the relationships that matter, not formal laws. There's no formal rule, children with ADHD can't be in churches, but there are social expectations which are not, which are catered to other ways of being that don't open themselves to neurodivergent lives and ways of living. One could see this as similar to children's time, where the children get the Bible story read to them and explained in a way that's appropriate to their levels of understanding. However, people in the pews often also like children's time because it gives them a chance to go over the story again in different language, and then are more prepared to hear the sermon that would come next. That example is based on equity as inclusion. How can we make our spaces more inclusive of these people we presume to be on the outside who we want to be able to come in and join the community? And that is good, we need that. But I think that equity, since it's a component of justice, which strikes towards the universal, actually means a lot more than just how do we get people in it also means how do we transform what in even means to begin with neurodivergent justice begins with diversity it begins with the realization that no we aren't all equal because we aren't all the same we all have equal value. We need to empower people to be the best that they can be, not to be best in the specific vision that I think is best for everyone.